Hey everybody, Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Tonight we're gonna to check out a few of the G bodies that I've got, the 78 to 87 General Motors G body platform. I've got about 30 G bodies in stock right now, so obviously not gonna catch them all tonight, but uh, we'll start off here with this first row and catch a few of those. Starting off with a little two-door Malibu, 78, 79 era Malibu two-door. This is a non-Landau. I also do have a Landau car in stock, but this one has the narrower pillar for the standard two-door. This car is missing some pieces, part of the front clip's gone, but a lot of good sheet metal left on this car. Still got some good trim on it. So these things are getting really popular, really hard to find pieces for. So even though this one's not complete, we're definitely keeping it around. Very minimal rust issues in this car. Overall, it's a really solid body. We can even see in the trunk on this car looks good and solid. Quarter panels look pretty good on it. A lot of decent metal left on it and still has a lot of good trim on it even though we're missing the trunk lid and a lot of the lights and things like that. So still a lot of good stuff here. These cars are hard to find pieces for. So like I said, we're going to keep them here, keep them lined up because if they're flat, they're gone. So there's still a lot of left of this one, even though it doesn't look too complete at first glance. Next one we've got, we've got a 1978 Monte Carlo sitting right here next to the Malibu. There again, the header and the nose and stuff has gone off of this car. But a lot of these cars, even though when they're missing a lot of this stuff, like this 78, 79 Monte Carlo header panel, this one I sold a long time ago, but I've still got several more of them in stock that I've picked up over the years that I've got stored away in buildings. So just because you see don't see something on a car, don't hesitate to give me a call because that doesn't mean I don't have something in storage. I've got several semi-trailers full of parts. I've got six buildings full of cars and parts. So a lot of stuff in stock that you don't necessarily see in these videos. So that's something always to keep in mind as well. But the rest of this Monte Carlo, kind of the same deal as the Malibu we just looked at. A lot of the trim's gone, the header's gone, but a lot of good sheet metal, straight car, minimal damage, minimal rust, and a lot of good pieces left on it, even though a lot of the trim and the header and things like that's gone along the back. The trunk lid's still here, rear bumper's still here, lights are gone. But there again, I think I've even still got some of those in storage in another building. So inside this car has been stuffed full of extra pieces as well too so there again just because you don't see it on a car don't mean we don't still have one in stock this fender's gone as well so like i said kind of like the malibu a lot of pieces gone but tons of stuff still there next couple we got sitting right here some mid 80s buick regals 84 85 era buick regals these cars are both still mostly intact front clips all still on this car there again these cars are solid bodies very minimal rust very minimal damage on any of these and overall tons of good pieces on it somebody boogered up the trunk lid on this one trying to break into it years and years ago but back bumper the lights are chipped so those aren't any good we can take a peek inside all the dash and everything is still in it the seats are still in it And a lot of good stuff left on that one, which is kind of the same thing we've got here. Same era of Buick Regal. Even got the factory alloy wheels on it. But overall, straight car. Tons of good pieces. Lots of good trim. Still got the entire nose in this one as well, except for, of course, the rubber bumper fillers that have fallen apart, which they always do. But overall, a lot of good stuff left on this one, just like the one we just looked at. Lots of trim. Lots of pieces interior still in this car as well the dash is all still in it and even coming on around the back same thing it's got the vinyl top moldings the tail lights on this car are bad as well we've got a rear bumper the trunk lid's still there lots of good pieces left so like I said, we've got tons of G-bodies. This whole section is G-bodies. Everything you see around us is G-body. So we'll get into some more of that in future videos. But I uh, figured we'd start off tonight with these four and show you them. So as always, appreciate you stopping by, taking a few minutes out of your evening to hang out with me. If you're on Facebook, please share the video with your friends and invite them to come like the page so they can hang out with us. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other old videos on all old gearhead stuff, old cars, old trucks, old memorabilia. That's what we talk about on here because that's about all I know. So, But uh, having a lot of fun doing it. Glad you guys stopped by. If you have specific questions about vehicles or parts, 
give me a call, 620-786-4428. Having that short conversation about your project, make, model, body style, what you need, what direction you're going with your build, things like that is what I need to know to know if I may have something out here that can help you out with your project. So having that short phone call is the only way we can do that. So I have all your information to know if, we, if I can help you out. So got any questions like that, don't hesitate to give me a call. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Appreciate you stopping by, hanging out with me, taking a few minutes out of your day to uh, hang out with me and see what we've got going on. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon on the next video.